VBA. Control shift enter or a macro wave. Well, there's my G on the CSE. Billy J getting down with the VBA. Oh my, it's a dual and XL time. Stand by, it's a dual and XL time. Mama, it's dual and XL time. Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 169, Equal Word Counts. All right, welcome back. Today's question sent in by Bill. I want a random selection of 250 values from a list of 2,500 plus street names. Oh, but that is not the problem. Um, I first uh, need to do some data cleansing throughout any entries that have more than one word. I see. So this one here that ends in BL for Boulevard, need to throw that one out. All right. So how do we come up with items that have just one word? Boy, it'd be really cool if we could just come over here and use the equal word count function in Excel. But unfortunately, that function has not been invented yet. Neither is words. All right. They, why aren't these here? These would be really, really useful things. Uh, but unfortunately, they are not there unless you have some add-ins. I know some add-ins have the, uh, the words uh, function. But uh, so we need to figure out how many words are over there in column A. And I'm thinking VBA, but I'm just in a hurry. I'm trying to get this thing done. And so I'm going to do this crazy set of steps. Control C, copy the data over here to column C. Uh, so that way I'm not going to destroy the original data. And then on the data tab, do data text to columns delimited by a space, which is going to split the words out into multiple columns. So Eisenhower Independence Boulevard is in three different cells. And then to get my word count, I'm going to use equal count A. Count, of course, would ignore all text. Uh, just come over here way too far. And that has three words double click to shoot that down. Now I'll convert those uh, formulas to values, so control C in the uh, program key V. Uh, I can delete these extra columns out here. Uh, of course now to get my selection from there it's, I'm home free, right? I just want to first uh, sort descending to find anything with more than one word. Using page down and page up there's probably, a, I could have searched for that number one, but anyway, here we are. I'll do Alt E D R to delete those. So now I have all the one word names. I also don't want a whole bunch of numbers. So you see all these numbers up here. Uh, I'm looking for real words. I'm going to delete many of, actually, I'm going to delete all of those. And then to get a random selection of 250, it looks like we have 1497. I'm just going to come over here and uh, use the RAND function. R A N D gives us a, a number between 0 and 1, uh, and we will sort that data A to Z, and the first 250 uh, items are my list. There we go, Control C, those are my list. But Mike, there has to be a better way than using data text to column, so let's see if you can come up with a cool, cool formula for us. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Oh my heavens, I totally want a words function. Oh man, when you started to do that, I was so excited. I thought there was a new function. Oh man, this is going to be a trick because we, we don't want anything that has the space and we don't want anything with a number. Well, I, I guess I'll start with the number and I'll ask the left function to please go and get the first character from the left. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now it'll pull out the number, but that's actually not a number. F2, but if I do any math operation like plus zero, control enter to populate that all the way down, then it converts it back to the numbers, but any text gets a value. So really I'm interested in the values. Now that'll check for the number, right? But I also need to check for the spaces, so I'm going to use the search function and search for in double quotes a space, comma, within this text cell right here, control enter, double click and send it down. Oh, look at that. It's the error I'm interested in. So if I wrapped the is 
error. And the first one ignores NA, the second one doesn't. I don't really care. If I wrap that around this, it'll tell me true when it sees an error. Same with this one right here. Is error, I'm going to take the second one, Control Enter, Control Enter, double click and send it down. So it's only the true, 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 true that tells me that record is good. So I'm going to copy this, Escape, Control Shift, Down Arrow, Delete. F2, and I'm going to put this inside the AND. Just like in English, that has to be true, comma, AND. That has to be true, close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. So the falses mean I don't want it, don't want it, do want it, don't want it. Now I'm going to do a little trick here, Control Shift Down Arrow, and I want to find all of the falses to delete them. So Control F to find, and I'm going to put a false. And I'm going to make sure if this were formulas like we usually do, it tells me nothing. I want to make sure that this is values and say find all. Instantly, it gives me a list down here. If I Control A, it highlights all of them. Escape to close that, and I'm going to do what Mr. Excel did. Alt Edit, which is E, D. R for row and Enter. That wasn't as spectacular as Mr. Excel because it wasn't as fast. Control Home, get to the top, and now I have all of my records. Now I'm going to copy Mr. Excel and do the RAND function. Control Enter, double click and send it down. That'll give me a number between 0 and 1 with 15 digits. And before I sort it, I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to do a relative cell reference to the first one. Control Enter. Control C to copy it, and I want to copy that formula exactly down 250 rows. F5 to open up go to, and I'm, let's see, E250, and I think I need one. Now, before I hit Enter, which will enact that OK, I'm going to hold Shift and Enter. Notice that sends it all the way down. Control V, I've copied the relative cell reference all the way down. Now I can simply right click, sort point to sort whichever sort, or however you want to sort it. And instantly, every time I sort it, hey, I'm going to do the right click key, and it's OO. Right click key, OO to sort. I'm getting a new list of 250 people. Control Shift Down Arrow. i got to make sure the count down here is looking good. Control Home. All right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. Whoa, Mike, you have to love. You have to love these dueling Excel podcasts because it shows the completely different approach with how uh, we solve these problems. I mean, I had this data to clean. First thing I attack is the number of words, but the first thing you attack is let's get rid of the numbers. And you did it all with formulas. And along the way, we saw the is error function uh, using the go to dialog box, but holding down the shift key before clicking OK, uh, find all, and then right click O. Oh, to sort descending, that's amazing. Now, when I sent that video to you, I was fairly convinced that you were going to rock out this crazy array formula, which you don't even have to press Control Shift Enter for, that takes the length of A2, concatenates that with a 1, does an indirect, passes it to the row, and then asks for the mid of A2. And in essence, this is giving the, the mid of A2 the first position, second position, and third position, seeing if it's equal to a space, changing those trues and falses to ones and zeros with minus minus, doing a sum product, and then finally adding one to the end to come up with the word count. That's what I thought you were going to do. And had you done that, I was ready to come back and hit you with some VBA where we can actually create the words function. It's not a lot of VBA. It's one, two, three, four lines. Start out with everything has one word and then from i equals one to the length of my value look for a space if it is a space words equals words plus one that's how i thought the duel was going to come out but you come at it with a completely different approach and solve the problem much more easily than i ever thought we would do it awesome well hey it's uh great to be doing duels and i want to thank everyone out there for uh stopping by We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is fun.